folks. Still haven't uh, went to the next next month yet. Uh, went ahead and added some additional animals to the farm. As you've seen the last episode, we have sheep now. Well, we also have bees. So, as you can see up there where the canola is, you can see the roof of the beehive. I was checking out some forums on the bees and found that they, uh, they help canola and sunflowers and things like that. And the honey should spawn in this little area over here. Whether it does or not, no clue. But that's where it should go. Well, right now, before we uh, move into the next month, I was just wanting to go ahead and get this all cultivated. Ready. I will see the... There it is. A little, uh, little beehive box. There she is. I liked that one better than the others. The other big one. The other big one's just kind of like a square rectangle box. That one looks looks like a little house. It's got a little door on it. I don't know. Just uh, looks basic, really. Not uh, nothing special. And uh, I did go ahead and buy this trailer here. It's the uh, it's so the gooseneck trailer, but with the toe attached instead of the gooseneck. So that cost another 9k. Got the bales in here that I've stacked up. And I went ahead and changed from the tractor with the front loader. I forgot all about my front loader that I had up at the front. This here. So I just attached this. Oh, get out of there. I just attached this that I bought for my tractor front loader. I just detached the scoop there and bada bing bada boom, all done. It was a lot easier. Yeah, I, I, I rented a couple of different trailers. As it ran me like a probably $1,500 to go through about four or five trailers to see which one I liked the best. Because they don't really give you a size comparison. A lot of the ones I've seen, I was like, oh, that looks, that looks like good, it's a good size. Like that first one that you all seen. <laughs> and yeah, they just were super small when I got them. Uh, got them over to the field with the uh, grass bales on them. Yeah, the, uh, the sheep have been going for a little while, not long. But, hey. Not too bad. Yeah, if I was moving a, uh, a large amount, I would go ahead and buy the trailer that they actually have. They sell a trailer to haul animals. New cows, pigs, horses, sheep. But, I'm just doing a, you know, a few of them. It's not worth the the money that it cost. It's uh, I think like 80,000. And I think it holds uh, around 30, 38, 40 sheep. Something like that. Yeah, let's see, it was... It's in animals. All the way over here. Oh, nope, I don't have it. Nope, that was just one I was looking at. Okay, yeah, they don't have it at the shop. Animal transport, maybe? Hang on. It's gotta be here. There it is. There it is. I was like, I thought I had it. Where'd it go? But. Yeah, this one, and then we got this one here. But as you see, there are only 10 sheep, 10 sheep, 10 sheep, 
Now it's 38. At least it's a big, humongous, humongo trailer. But we don't need that. Had the worker go in there just while I was checking the store out. It's pretty handy. So much like this than the other. So much better. I just can't stand that weird texture that it puts down. And I do want to get the big one, but I don't know. hoping to buy the uh, the cedar but I've yet to see it in sale so probably won't get it that's okay though I'll just rent it again and go from there the sheep Sixty two K left. A spot over there. I thought I got that. Okay. I'll get that at the end.
messing with my uh, my roof and my windows opening and closing them. If you all seen that, that's the back window, it's the side windows, and the roof is opened. So it's a little breeze come in. It's a, it's a nice July eve morning. E morning. And those sheep should be fed for quite a while, because I have, I had 16 bales, so 10 of them was 50k, was that 6 of them is 30k, so 80,000, and a full tankage is uh, I think 11,000 and change, something like that, 11 and a half. And it's only five sheep, so they're not gonna they're not gonna eat it all. Once I fill it up with the, the full hundred, then yes. But I don't plan on buying any more sheep. I plan on just letting those reproduce with each other. It's not incest if it's sheep, right? Sh sheep on sheep. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just, you're just breeding the breeding the breedings. Breeding breedings. And they have sheep eggs. That's what it is. They just lay little sheep eggs. Right. Whew. I'm just about ready to move over to August and I can plant the canola here. Keep your fingers crossed that the uh, uh, planter comes in the sale. That'd be really awesome. Otherwise, like I said, I'll just rent it again and use it. Put it back up. Yeah, I did a little, uh, little bit of smoothing on the field. And also shortened it up a little bit, like on this side, and I removed that tree that was there, if you noticed. Before I said anything, good on you. Tree was about right here. Right in this little area. And it just kept stopping the worker, so I had to take it out of take it out of commission. Let's check this beehive out. Fold that up. Ouch. Alright, so, yep, as you can see the little bees flying out of there, don't worry, I'm protected, I have protection of some sort, got some little flower pots there so they can pollinate those, and before too long, and uh, I think, like I said, I think that pallet's going to be okay, if not I'll move it over to there or something. We'll see. Whenever, uh, whenever we wait, it doesn't cost that much to put the pallet location down. It's like 230 bucks, so it's not uh, not gonna bake the brink. Not gonna bake the brink. Ah, oh, what? It didn't let me do that. That's weird. Why did it not let me do that? Not gonna let me cultivate that little spot. Huh, that's weird. Huh. Oh well. And uh, I did take my chainsaw and cut down those pesky little tall wannabe trees. So these are just regular old bushes I can drive through and not get rammed. I'll put this back. See, so yeah, like I said, I'll uh, and hit the hay and hope that the pallet will 
location is good enough. the day. Let's check those. Oh, cool. Another pallet of eggies. Bam. Uh, let's run up here real quick and check and see if the bees have done anything. So I hope I can leave it there. And uh, look, hey, I can. Sweet. Oh, wow. Look at there. They've already got a pallet and change. Awesome. And I think that's in March. Let me see here. March or May that I can sell them at the best price. Which that'll be nice. Let's see. Oh, February. March. Yeah, it is March. Okay. March, February, that area. would be the highest. It'd be around $3,300 a pallet. Probably. Nice. Okay, let's check. Come on. Oh, what is this? Oh, shallow. Hey, I don't want a shallow. I do not want a shallow cultivator. This is a... Ooh. That mm, plants canolas. And it's only six meters wide, though. But that is pretty cool. Huh. That is pretty neat right there. Okay, nice little forklift, that's cool. I uh, don't need a cedar, that's, I think that's the one that I had, yeah, that's, that looks like the one that I used to have that was humongous. Oh, uh, that's a cool little tanker truck, or a tanker, I mean, for the milks and whatnot, but I don't have any milk. Okay, so I guess that means I'm going to go up here and rent one. Oh well. I'll go ahead and pull these strawberries up while I'm here. fill that water in the next couple months. I mean, I don't have to. It's got plenty in it, but and it's pretty close, so it'll be all right. Actually, forget to ice at anything. see that? I didn't see that either. Neither did you, lady. You didn't see it either. Oh, look at there. What's that? Is that corn? Is he growing corns? Man. Look a little burnt. Little burnt corns. in here and 
talk to Bob the Builder here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Six. Um, six, eight. Twelve meters. there that's 12 so that's cool looking what is this 19 meters ooh 450 horsepower I don't have that much but that's a big boy there look at that whoo -hoo. that's a big one big boy tracked oh man an air seeder. Oh, that's cool, an air seeder. I'll just spews it out the back, I guess. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Wonder how it works, though. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so let's see, it's 12. That one's 18. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Allows you to just seed straight in without cultivating or anything. 450 horsepower. I've only got 396 all I've got, so. Ooh, that's 30. Wow, these are, I didn't realize they got that big. And some new additions in there. Okay, well. Huh. Pounds 15. Let's see what we got them planters here. <clears throat> Probably still just that one planter. Yeah, that last one there. Does 18. Hmm. Well, it's so hard to choose. Could do want to try a different one. Alright. Lease. Let's see, that's what, 12? Yeah, I'll just lease that. Alright. Hop in the tractor and this bad boy up and let's go on out. Alright. I will see if I need to buy anything. Alright. I'll unfold it real quick and see. up to my other tractor and see what happens type thing. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what I have to do. I'll see if I can just fill it straight from this or if it's going to have to go to another tractor. It's a little bit of a hassle, but I really don't want to get rid of these if I don't have to, but I might have to. If that makes any sense. Oh, no, I can't. Sweet. So, oh, well. I did not have that much seed. Just out of seeds. Dang it. Damn it, Bobby. Yeah, go ahead and buy one here. It's more expensive to buy it here, but... It's so weird. 
the Kanoa, the uh, what is it? Fertilizer is cheaper to buy here, but the seed is cheaper to buy at the store. It doesn't matter. I don't know why. It's the same bag of the same type stuff. doesn't make any sense but oh well I don't know what to say all right get these first couple boosts and lower and turn it on let's go look at that If I don't clip my uh, my little house here, beehives. Nope. Good. <clears throat> It'd be nice to get a little boost out of them with the uh, the bees. Pretty good indeed. That's really isn't a bad one either. I mean, <clears throat> it didn't fertilize, but it's not a bad working with 12 meters. Four times as big as the one I have. So. The only reason I have that one still is just because I don't want to sell it for now. If I can make this turn. some liquids drink that is right. yeah I also contemplated and uh, uh, what do you call it? doing a oil factory just, you know, busting out the gate really hard, you know. Oil factory, sheep, bees. <clears throat> so I pretty much have most of the machinery that I will need for a little while. Most of it, mostly. I mean, I could use some things, but... For the most part, I've got everything I need. could turn into, you know, this canola, I could turn into canola oil, sunflowers, and uh, I think olives, olive oil too, but I don't, I don't want to mess with the olives, that's, that's a little too uh, intuitive for right now.
<clears throat> we got this uh, right here. Productions, factories. So. So right here, oil mill. That's 80,000. Let me see if there's any other ones. So there's an oil mill. I mean, heck, I've got plenty of spaces for it. You know, I could set it here. Uh, possibly, yeah, I could set it up here. That would be a perfect fit right there, actually. Just put it right there. Dump it on the front there and then pick it up in the uh, markers that's not a bad idea there Ron thanks Ron anytime buddy <laughs> uh, almost done here yeah. just have to uh, think about it though you know like, would it I mean in the long run it would be worth it if I did a lot of oil stuff like this canola I think I picked up uh, 18,000 18, liters the last time, and I think it's two to one, so it would <sighs> wouldn't make that much oil. It'd make 9,000, and they sell for about 5,000, I think, a pallet. Oh, so it'd be nine times five. So I don't know if that would. Two years I would be paid for, and then anything else would just be extra. So, let's see, did I get that part down there? Or did I skip that actual part? Okay, no, cool, it's all planted. Sweet! It's good, it's good, it's good. Now. Let's see. Barley is planted next month. I think I'll just keep this. I think. Instead of renting it again. It would be kind of pointless to rent again. For even more money. I will just keep it for now. I'll just put it right here. Because it's only going to be think it's only going to be a rental fee for the hourly if I'm using it for the hour. I don't know how it works really I'm not going to lie we'll see we've got enough dollars right now it doesn't really matter so okay well let's see that's done that's done let's go check on old Looking for a contract in field eight, but they don't have one, and it's real annoying. <laughs> real, real annoying. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, cotton's growing real nice there, boss man. Let's see, got August, uh, September, October. It'll be ready to harvest. So, I mean, if I miss out on the harvest, I miss out. I'll just buy the land again. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just wait until they plant again and buy the land. Oh, 
Alright folks, well, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. I'll be cultivating and planting the barley up there and keeping an eye on the beehive. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are getting ready to come up too. What are these going to be ready to go? Uh, sunflowers. No, soybeans. Let's see. October. Cool. October for the soybeans. So those are getting ready to come out too. Nice. Get real busy this time of year, huh? Alright, folks. I will see you next time. Bye.